recognize Mr. Timmons for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You took the words out of my mouth. Um, I thought we were here to talk about crime in D.C. and the changes that were made uh, by city council and whether those were in the best interest of the district or not, but instead we're talking about statehood. Uh, I find that very interesting that uh, my colleagues across the aisle always go back to this conversation of statehood, but it, it, do a little research. 2009, the Democrats had a filibuster-proof majority in the Senate. They had the White House and the House. Um, the Senate passed uh, S-160 out on February 26th of 2009, 61 to 37. So if my colleagues across the aisle actually wanted D.C. statehood, and a number of them were here during this, they could have voted on it. They, the, the majority in the House, uh, with Speaker Pelosi at the helm, was 235 to 198. Um, I don't know why we're still talking about this. The people that want it, that want D.C. statehood, did not give it to you when they could have very easily given it to you. So um, that was then, and that was when 61 senators agreed to it. Now, 81 senators said that what y'all did was wrong, and both of your testimony cannot be true. The two council members and the detective cannot both be right. They cannot both be right. So either we have a crime problem in D.C., or things are getting better. Council members, 81 senators disagree with you that things are getting better. They think things are getting worse. The president of the United States disagrees with you that things are getting better. They think that things are getting worse. So I went to undergrad at GW. I was here from 2003 to 2006. Uh, I worked on the Hill briefly. I came back for law school for one uh, semester, and I've been around D.C. for the last five years. And I got to tell you, it is not safe. It is the least safe that it has ever been. Um, and so you are up here telling us that things are getting better. But my personal experience says that's not true. Your detective, the chairman of the police union, says that's, that's not true. 81 senators, 250 Democrat, well, 250 members of the House, 81 senators say that's not true. The President of the United States says that not, that's not true. So I guess let's just get to the purpose of criminal law. Criminal law, generally, the two principles are deterrence and retribution. Your criminal code currently does not deter crime. And one of the most abhorrent examples of this was the Uber Eats driver that a 15-year-old woman that previously was arrested for carjacking and released did it again weeks, months later, and killed an Uber Eats driver. And by the way, 15 years old in South Carolina, if you kill somebody, you're getting tried as an adult. But instead, your criminal code and your criminal justice system has tried her as a minor. And she is going to be released when she turns 21 and not have a criminal history. That's not justice. That's wrong. And it doesn't deter people from committing crimes in the future. Clearly, the first carjacking arrest didn't do anything. So the second carjacking arrest and murder, her friends are looking at that saying, well, you know, she's getting out when she's 21. She's never going to do hard time. I mean, that's wrong. That's just objectively wrong. So as you look back at, the, at your decisions that you've made, I know that you both are in favor of D.C. statehood. You're further away today than you have ever been. And you were never actually that close because the Democrats could have given it to you in 2009. So get this city safe. Get this city safe. Support your law enforcement. Create a criminal code that deters crime. Create a criminal code that gives individuals that are victims of crime retribution because the purpose of the criminal code is to give them retribution so they do not seek it for themselves. I'm sorry that I didn't ask any questions, but there's no point because Detective Pemberton cannot be telling the truth if y'all are telling the truth. And 81 senators and 250 House members and the President of the United States say that things are getting worse in Washington, D.C. They're getting worse. Do your job. Make us safe. With that, I yield back.